Now, if you're a bit of an AI fan or you're using AI for business, you're gonna really love this platform that I have found. So basically you can use all of the different AI languages all in one place and all in the same chat which is quite unusual. So there's a link underneath this video if you want to go and check it out. But let me just show you here at the top. We've got GPT-40, we've got Anthropics Claude 3.5 uh, Sonne, which is fantastic. Llama, the very best open source version of Llama. And this one's running on uh, the Grok platform, so it's super fast. Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro and some other ones just down here and also the ability to go and create what would be a considered to be a custom GPT. And this is the platform. As you can see, it's similar layout to ChatGPT in that you've got your previous conversations on the left. You can collapse the menu here and so on. But there's some really interesting features with this. So not only do you have all of these different LLMs, but you can also create custom instructions for each LLM. Again, if you're familiar with ChatGPT, then you know you can go and add in specific instructions in the way that you want it to respond, and you can give it information about yourself that you would like it to use each time it responds. Then, yeah, you can do it with each one. Let me just show you if we can do that right now. If we go to uh, Customize Chat LLM, there you go. Customize the instructions for each one of these different languages. So every single one, Claude, you know, you just put in how you would like it to provide better responses and then how you would like it to respond. And also you can choose what you would like it to do in terms of giving you these abilities, like being able to search the web or generate images, code execution, and then the playground. Now, the other good thing is as well, that if you are familiar with Claude, you know that they have artifacts and artifacts is where the right-hand side of the screen kind of shows what you've asked it to do on the left side of the screen. Great format, but you can't do that yet with uh, OpenAI's ChatGPT, but you can with this platform. So let's just get stuck in and show you some of the cool things that it can do. So first of all then, um, we're going to analyze a PDF. So we can go ahead and upload one for my computer. I got a big meaty 111 page PDF on Salesforce's like quarterly or annual results, I think it was. And I'm just gonna put in this prompt that says, create me a useful summary of this report from Salesforce and create a visually appealing, simple charts uh, using React. And if you don't know what React is, it's a computer programming language and off it will go. So we're using GPT-40, but if we wanted to, we could go ahead and use any of those other languages as well. So here it's gone through that whole 111 pages, pulled out this information. And now, as you can see here, it is moving on to the charts, which is developed very, very quickly. And you can see the, the, the revenue growth. So it looks like Salesforce are doing pretty good from 2022. Um, they've gone right up here uh, to the 2024. Uh, nearly at 36,000. I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what those figures are for. Uh, net income trend, that's going up as well. Operating margin. And it was able to do that with GPT-40. Now, if you go into ChatGPT, you can't do that yet. So that's a really good thing that you can do with this. Now, if you wanted to, you could carry on with this and ask it questions about that PDF and you can switch languages now. So we can go to Sonnet uh, 3.5 and then carry on the conversation, which is just very, very unique. I think that's a great uh, system. If you're happy with the results that it provides, you can give it a thumbs up or you can ask it to regenerate, as you can see here, if you're not too happy. The other feature I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a new chat for this because of course, having the ability to use all of these different uh, languages is really useful for content creation too. So if I was to ask it, I'm gonna say, write me an article about 1000 words long on how electric cars benefit the environment and why they might be better than driving a petrol car. There we go. Now we're gonna just shoot that off and we're gonna get Claude Sonne 3.5 on the job. There you go, look at this, it's off on the case. Certainly I'd be happy to write an article about the environmental benefits and off it goes. Going through it all here, really nice. And then we can also take that same content and give it some extra personality and effectively humanize the content. Because we all know that sometimes it's quite easy to recognize AI generated content. It's very matter of fact. 
doesn't really have much personality, always says the same words, the giveaways like revolutionize this or game changer that, especially with OpenAI, less so with Claude actually. But we can take that content now and just press this little button here where it says humanize, give it specific instructions if you want to, and also um, just go here and select from these pre-made different styles. So if I was to say uh, like this one, funny and clever, and then you can see we can opt to apply it to all future messages or just the one that we've already had. I'll say apply to all new messages and then regenerate. So now it will go ahead and have a little think. And incidentally, if I wanted to, I could go and pick a new language as well. Let's have a little look at what it's done with that. So certainly I'd be delighted to write an article about the environmental benefits. Here we go, buckle up, because we're about to take an electrifying ride through the world of eco-friendly transportation. Uh, and then it's got the title there, and a world where climate change is revving up faster than a Formula One race car, the automotive industry is shifting gears towards a greener future. So you can sort of see the style is without a doubt changed and it's gotten a little bit more kind of, uh, you know, quirky, a bit more fun, lighthearted. For example, look at this sentence here, but wait, you might say, don't we need to generate electricity to power these cars? You're right, Sherlock. However, even when we factor in the emissions from electricity production, electric cars still come out cleaner than petrol counterparts. So there you go. Uh, it's given a kind of much more lively and energetic um, thing there. And a good, a good article that I would be quite happy to put onto a blog, for example, depending on the style that I would like. And now I could say, uh, let's switch languages. So we'll go right over to Llama now. And we'll say, please produce a table of contents for the blog post and then see uh, how it deals with that. So it now, this llama, now has the whole conversation put into it and then it can come back with its thoughts about it and then give you this. And look at that, a lovely table of contents there with llama. Um, and it's broken down the article into all of these. And then you could use this at the start of your um, blog, for example to help people out and understand what they're about to read or if you're going to print it out as some kind of a report or white paper, downloadable, anything like that. It's perfect for it. Um, other little details, you can also uh, change this to dark mode. There you go, because a lot of us like to work in that, especially late at night, so we don't get blinded and uh, end up getting blue light and, and staying up all night. So that's quite handy. Another important thing that a lot of people like to do is to connect their data sources. And if we go down the bottom left here, and just click connect, we've got all these different options here to go and connect things up. There you go. BigQuery, uh, Marketo, Mongo database, Salesforce, who we've already spoke about, Google Drive and OneDrive, I would imagine would be quite um, important. Slack, very useful and then Zendesk as well if you run a support desk. So there's an opportunity to give it that information um, to work from to help you out. And speaking of helping you out, of course, one of the other things that you may like to do is to give multiple people access uh, in your company, in your teams, maybe freelancers, depending on how your business is set up, to be able to interact with this and join in um, with using this software. So for that, you can go to team just here, and then you can add people into your team and give them you know, different types of access, depending on what it is you would like to do. So it's pretty versatile. You can also search through your conversation, something which I think that uh, ChatGPT still does not give you the opportunity to do, which is mind blowing. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and search through your conversations to find uh, previous things. You can see just here in a previous conversation, I was also uh, asking to create a landing page there as well, um, which it can do. If we click on that there, like so, there you go. You can see um, all of the details of that project and where you've deployed that agent and so on. There's, there's an awful lot that you can do with this software above just using it like ChatGPT. But other things it can do, which I really like, is image creation. So we can use Llama or we can use GPT-40. Let's use GPT-40 in this instance, and we can get it to create us a, a nice image. So can you create an image of a car driving away down a beautiful road into the sunset? And then it will also create those 
uh, images for us to. And while it's generating that image, I just want to talk about the cost of this because this is one of the other good things. Now, to use all of those different languages, obviously, it, it, it's going to be expensive if you're having an account with ChatGPT, $20 a month, another one with Anthropic, another $20 a month, and so on. To have everything that we need all here and have all of those different languages available, the cost is just $10 per month. And again, if you want to try this out, you can get it free for a month. Just go ahead and click the link underneath. Um, they require a minimum subscription of two months, which I think is fair enough. And then the other thing that you're going to want to know is the restrictions with this, because there's even restrictions with, you know, Claude and ChatGPT. So what are the restrictions with this? Well, they're actually really, really good value. So the usage limits uh, on the LLMs are more generous than any of the paid services. You can send thousands of messages without attachments without hitting any usage limit on the LLMs like Sonnet 3.5 or GPT-40. But if you're going to upload big reports and things, then you might hit the rate limit, um, but they'll just switch you to a different LLM if you kind of run out of credits with that one that you're using. So you don't really experience any issues. It just carries on doing the job. But like it says there, overall, they give you 10 times more tokens than any uh, other LLM service. So that's really, really good. It's pretty straightforward to go and cancel and then you can also go and invite uh, other users as well and you'll build on a monthly basis based on the size of your team. So overall, better value than, uh, you know, what you would find with just going and having an account directly with all of them. Now, look at that image there. That one was generated using Flux, that super popular and successful model there for generating images. That looks fantastic. It's exactly what I asked for. Uh, a really nice picture of a car driving off into the sunset. And there's another one there created with Dali, which I don't think is so good. It looks obviously more kind of illustrated looking, but it depends on your, your needs, doesn't it? Um, but I think that one looks really good. Flux is awesome. Love it. But you've got access to all of that um, within this system as well. And anytime, um, you know, if you want this, uh, if you're doing any kind of an article, if we go back to this one here, you can also have this read out if you uh, need to do that. If you, if you can choose even the voice that will read this out, text to speech, again, similar to how ChatGPT will do the same for you as well. And uh, overall, I think that's uh, pretty much it. The only other thing I do want to say to you, which uh, is going to be very useful for some of you, is you can also go and get live information from the web. So maybe if you want to put together like a, an, a news, a newsletter that you send out daily or weekly, you can go and grab live news. So give me a list of the top 10 best AI news articles and topics today. There we go. We use GPT-40 to go ahead and grab that. So it's going to search the web now. And then here's the results for us. And we can also, you know, ask it to go into more detail. So like there's number seven, AI news on Science Daily, updates on AI advancements, including AI's role in improving lung cancer. So if I wanted to, I could say, uh, give me more information about this one. And there you go. It will go into more detail and have a closer look at that. And then we can, of course, use that information now to go and uh, put that into our newsletter. And even, even if we wanted to switch it over to Claude now and just tell Claude to go and rewrite that in its own style and then use that in the newsletter. So this ability to switch languages, I'm finding um, to be quite beneficial in creating really good quality content. So that's it. Again, there's a link under this video. I hope you uh, like the look of this. I think it's going to be a really, really useful tool. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you did like it, please press the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.